today we're going to be working on this Star of Bethlehem crochet ornament from my 25 days of Christmas traditions crochet along happening over on my blog. I will have the link to the crochet along information in the description box as well as a link to the um, yarn kit from Lion Brand that accompanies uh, this crochet along. It'll give you all of the yarn that you need, um, the beautiful 24-7 cotton that we're working with for this crochet along plus a little extra and it's a great kit you should definitely check it out but I'm going to go over this ornament because I've been getting a lot of questions about um, the foundation stitches that we're using and just how to put it all together so we're going to go ahead and start with our C 2.75 millimeter crochet hook and then we're going to use goldenrod and a crew in that 24-7 cotton. We're going to use mostly goldenrod and we'll start with that. So go ahead and create a slip knot on your hook in that goldenrod. You're going to need to know how to do foundation stitches, but I'm going to go over all of the foundation stitches here in this video, so you should be good to go after watching this video. So once you have your slip knot, go ahead and chain four three and four and after you chain four we're going to make our first foundation stitch so we'll do a foundation triple crochet and we're going to work that in the first stitch the first chain stitch the one right next to that slip knot so the fourth chain stitch from your hook that one there so we're going to yarn over twice for our triple crochet Yarn over twice, insert your hook, and because this is a foundation triple crochet, we now have four loops on our hook, and we're just going to yarn over and pull through the first one. So creating a chain one, this is the part that makes it a foundation triple crochet. We're creating that foundation chain as we make the triple crochet. So we've chained one, we still have four loops on our hook, and we're going to yarn over, pull through the first two. And now we're making our triple crochet. Yarn over, pull through the next two, and yarn over, pull through the last two. So now we can see we have our chain four and then our triple crochet right next to it, and that chain one there on the bottom. So now we're going to work into that chain one and make a foundation double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Now yarn over, just pull through the first one for a chain one. Now continue with your double crochet. Yarn over, pull through the first two, and yarn over, pull through the last two. So now we have a foundation double crochet, and you can see that chain one there on the bottom of your double crochet. So we're going to work into that and do a foundation half double crochet. So yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, just pull through the first one foundation, creating that foundation chain. Now we have three loops, yarn over, and pull through all three for your half double crochet. So now we can see that we've created another chain. We're going to work a foundation single crochet now. Go ahead and just chain one before completing your single crochet. Now we're going to work in that chain one from our last stitch. And we're going to do another foundation single crochet. Yarn over, just pull through the first loop. Yarn over, pull through both. So we can see that we're starting to uh, take shape here. We're going to chain two. Now we're working the tip of this first point. And now we're going to start working back down this other side as you see in the pattern. This is the part a lot of people got confused about. So we're going to slip stitch in the second chain from our hook. So go ahead and slip stitch and just pull through. So now we've slip stitched. Now looking at the other side of these chains, you're going to work back down in the next stitch. All of these chain stitches right here is what we're working into. Don't turn your work. Don't move anything. Just work back down the other side. So now we're going to slip stitch in that very next one. Slip stitch. And now if we look at that next chain one little loop there, we're going to single crochet. Same thing in the next one, single crochet. We can see how this is looking now, creating that point. Now we're going to half double crochet in the next chain one. 
These are all regular stitches, not the foundation. So you can just go ahead and proceed as you normally would. Double crochet in the next. And then we have one stitch left here and we're gonna triple crochet in that one. So you're basically reversing the original pattern you did, um, working up the first side and they're just not foundation stitches. So here's our triple crochet. Now we're going to work into our initial chain four. So we need to identify that chain four there, right here, and we're gonna work into that chain space. You don't need to work into the actual stitches, but we're gonna make a double crochet, just a regular double crochet here into that chain four. And then we're also going to make a single crochet into that chain four. So right in the same space, go ahead and work a single crochet. And this is just going to uh, gather everything together and create the shape that we want. So now we can see how that first point is looking. Again, this is the point that's going to lie on the right side. And now we're going to work the second point, which we're, will look like the top. Once this is all done, if you refer back to the finished uh, project, the second point will be the one that lies at the top of the front piece. We're going to go ahead and chain four once again. We're going to follow a very similar uh, method for each of these points, it's just the numbers of what kinds of stitches are a little different. So once we've chained four, go ahead and work a foundation triple crochet. Make sure you yarn over twice here. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through just the first one, and then pull through two more, pull through two more, and pull through the last two for that triple crochet starting this just the same way as we started the first point. So this should look very familiar. And by the end of this uh, ornament, you will be a pro at foundation stitches. So go ahead and work a foundation double crochet in that chain one from your triple crochet. Make sure that on all of these, you're remembering to work that chain one, just pull through the first loop before you proceed with the actual stitch. So here we are working our third stitch of the row. It is a half double crochet here. We're going to work another half double crochet. Remember these are all foundation stitches working up the first side of each point will always be foundation stitches and then coming back down the other side will always be regular stitches not foundation. So here we are with a foundation single crochet always working into that chain one from the stitch before, another foundation single crochet, and one more foundation single crochet. And now as with the first uh, point, you can see how this is looking. It's a bit taller than the first point. This is exactly what we want. Um, it shouldn't be exactly even. We're going to chain two just as we did with the first to create that point and then we're going to slip stitch in the second chain from our hook. Finishing the slip stitch here and go ahead and slip stitch in that first chain. Go ahead and look at all of these chain ones from your foundation stitches. Make sure that you're, uh, you didn't turn the work or anything like that and you're working in these chain ones just back down the other side. So here we are slip stitching in that next stitch. And now we're going to work a single crochet in the next stitch. Regular stitches here, not foundation stitches. We can see how the point's looking and we're working in these chains just as we did with the first point. Single crochet again. Now we're going to half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Again, just reversing the order that we went on the way up this point. You're doing exactly the same thing and coming back down so that it's even. Your second half double crochet and then your double crochet. And now we're working our triple crochet in that last stitch here. So here's our triple crochet. Now once again, we're going to work in that chain four just to bring everything together. So identify that chain four, make sure it's the chain four from this point, not from the first point. And we're gonna work a double crochet into that chain space. 
and then also go ahead and work a single crochet in that chain space. So now we have the first two points done. The third point is going to be an exact repeat of our first point. So go ahead and do everything you did for that first point again for the third and I'll catch back up with you here in just a moment. Here are our first two points done. Go ahead and make the third one just as we did the first. So here we have the third point done. It looks exactly like the first one. And now we can see that we need to complete the fourth chain. But before we do that, we're going to make a double crochet in the center of our second point to try and gather um, these points together here and get rid of that gap in the middle. So go ahead and yarn over. After you've stitched into that chain four, before we move on, we're gonna make a double crochet right there in the center of your second point. So we're working from the third point stitching into the center of the second. And we can see that now this lies together a lot better with that stitch right there in the middle. Now we're gonna work off of this to work down with our longest uh, fourth point that's gonna lie on the bottom. Go ahead and chain four. And we're gonna triple crochet, foundation triple crochet into the fourth stitch from our hook, just as we have with all of our points up until now. Foundation triple crochet. And then we're going to foundation double crochet into that chain one from the stitch before, just as we have with all of our other points. This one's going to be very similar, just again, a different number of each of the stitches. Another foundation double crochet. Remember that with each foundation stitch, we're still making that chain one before we complete the stitch. That is very, very important to getting everything to lay right. Here we are with a foundation half double crochet. A foundation half double crochet once again. And then we're going to work five foundation single crochets. This bottom fourth point is the longest one and these single crochets are going to help us achieve that link there with the Bethlehem star. Make sure that you're following along over on my blog with the written pattern. I know that this is a lot of um, back and forth, you know, single crochet, double crochet. It's very specific and you definitely want it to lay right and all be even and get the right shape. So make sure that you follow the link in the description over to my blog and follow along with the written pattern there. So here we are after we've worked all five single crochets, we're gonna chain two. And now we're gonna start working back up the other side so we can see what one side should be looking like and we're gonna work back down this other side of chains. So go ahead and slip stitch in the second chain from your hook. And we're going to slip stitch in that very next stitch as well. Now we're going to single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Make sure that you're working in the other side of these chains here. Make sure you didn't turn your work at the bottom. I know it gets a little cumbersome now that we have uh, many more points in the mix. So try to make sure everything is staying straight and you're stitching in the right spot. Now we're working a half double crochet. And another half double crochet. Now we're going to work two double crochets. And we're almost done with the basis of this star second double crochet there. We're going to work a triple crochet in the last stitch. And here working into the chain four once again, just to keep the center from being as gappy as possible and get a nice even shape, we're going to work in that chain four space and make a double crochet. And now we're not going to single crochet in 
the chain four space here, we're just going to go ahead and join this to the first point. So look at your first point and skip over that chain four and identify the top of your foundation triple crochet. So that first stitch you made, that's your chain four right there. And then we can see the top of that foundation triple crochet that we're going to slip stitch into to join the star together. And then we'll be actually able to see the shape that we want and make sure that everything is lying correctly to move forward. So here we've slip stitched that together. Oop, I think I'm one stitch too close. I was stitching in the top of that chain four. Make th sure that you are in the top of that uh, triple crochet, not in the chain four. There we go. Now that is lying perfectly. And we can see the general shape. Now when we uh, single crochet around in just a moment, it's going to help to join uh, the edges of these points together and really form the shape that we see in the finished product. So we're going to uh, work all the way around here and we're just going to single crochet and then we'll definitely be able to see uh, these corners come together and look much much nicer than it does right now. But we can see the basic shape. So we're going to go ahead and chain one, still working with the golden rod here, and we're just going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. With the points, you are going to just make one single crochet in each point. So it gets a little tight in here with these slip stitches. It's a little hard to work your hook uh, in and out of these stitches, but um, do the best you can and go ahead and work one single crochet in each point. This is going to round out the tips of our star a little bit and give it just a bit of a softer look. I didn't want it so uh, spiky, but you're more than welcome to add um, two or three single crochets in the tip of each corner if that's what you prefer. I like a more rounded look, so I'm just working the one single crochet on this round. When we add the acru yarn in just a moment, uh, you'll see that that'll change. But for this round, just work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. We're coming around to the first point here and we're going to skip the chain four. So here we are working in the triple crochet. We're going to just work in that triple crochet and then we're going to skip the chain four from our next point. So go ahead and skip over that. Don't work anything in that chain four and go ahead and work your next single crochet in the top of your foundation triple crochet that started that next point. So we can see that that kind of gathers things together here and holds things really nicely uh, and tight. But if you're working in that chain four, um, you'll see a lot of gaps and it won't create the nice even star shape that we want. So make sure that you're skipping that chain four and just single crocheting in the first actual stitch of that point which will be your foundation triple crochet. So we can see how this is looking now and it's looking much more nice and even and beautiful than the other side which we can see is still kind of a bit all over the place. But it'll clean up here in just a moment. We're just working one single crochet in the top point of our second uh, point and then coming back down the other side. Now I wanted to take a moment to tell you guys that I'm just demonstrating the front piece of this star. There is a back piece of the star that you'll want to make uh, separately and then sew on to the back. And I'll show you the finished product here in just a few minutes. But um, the back piece is a lot easier than the front piece. The front piece is a lot more complicated. The back piece is very similar. It's a four point uh, project just like this, but all four points are exactly the same. You just repeat the same thing uh, four times. So if you can make the front piece, the back piece is very easy. So here we are once again, skipping that chain four and working our next single crochet into that top stitch and we can see now that it's really gathering together and getting rid of some of those gaps in the middle that are so unsightly. So go ahead and keep single crocheting all the way around and I will catch back up with you um, when we come back together where we started this single crochet. 
So here we are, we have done our single crochet evenly all the way around and we have come back to where we started. So we are going to slip stitch into our first single crochet of this round. So here we can see that this is looking a lot more even and a lot more pretty. And we're just going to find that first stitch and just single crochet, or I'm sorry, slip stitch together and just gather everything. We're going to grab our A crew yarn. And I love this A crew color. It's kind of like a creamy antique white. It just adds a really nice um, border to our goldenrod star. So once again, we're slip stitching this together. And I'm going to change colors with my favorite method from my um, magic uh, crochet color change tutorial that you can find on my blog as well. I'm just going to bring the new color through that loop that I pulled up from the slip stitch. That's my slip stitch loop. And I'm just going to tie the A crew yarn in a knot over the loop and move it to the far right side. This is the most secure way I've found of changing colors and it works really well for me. Um, I prefer it over just pulling up the new color. Um, it tends to stay in place and last a lot longer for me. So then go ahead and use that working yarn in the A crew and just drop your goldenrod yarn. You can pull the tails to tighten things up if you'd like. And now we've chained one in our A crew and we're just going to single crochet in each stitch around just as we did with our golden rod. So just go ahead and single crochet in that first stitch with your A crew and just keep moving all the way around. With this round you are going to single crochet twice in each um, corner. So here we are coming up to that corner. You can see our one golden rod stitch in that corner and I'm going to make two stitches in the same stitch. So two single crochet in each tip of those points. And other than that we're just going to single crochet around. When you come to these uh, corners moving around you're just going to keep one single crochet in each stitch. So go ahead and finish that up all the way around and I'll meet you at the other side. So here we are with it all finished. I've went ahead and slip stitched my A crew into um, that first A crew single crochet there. And now here are my tails that I'll just have to weave in. We can see that we've slip stitched it here and it looks like a really clean color change so I'm very happy with that. I do want to address this gap in the middle. When you weave in your ends, leave a pretty long tail of your golden rod here when you snip it and just kind of whip stitch that um, gap closed. I just weaved in my tail back up to the center there and just whip stitched the gap closed and you really can't tell. It's all the same color yarn and uh, here looking at the finished product you really can't see that I whip stitched that center together. And remember that you need to go ahead and make this back piece. It's a lot easier to make than the first piece and you can see the pattern for that over on my blog and that link is in the description and it's a really easy much faster uh, piece to this and we just sewed it together here and you cannot see where I gathered uh, that center up. So thank you guys for watching and make sure to keep up with the rest of my Christmas crochet along.